Practice Test 1 Question 1. What is the purpose of an isolated grounding system in a hospital? Patient protection is the purpose of isolated grounding systems in hospitals. What is the purpose of an isolated grounding system in a hospital? Patient protection is the purpose of isolated grounding systems in hospitals. Question 2. For circuits with supply lighting units. Warehouse, with ballasts, transformers or auto transformers, the computed load must be based on a total. Ampere rating what you use to compute load for supply lighting with ballasts and transformers. For circuits with supply lighting units. Warehouse, with ballasts, transformers or auto transformers, the computed load must be based on a total. Ampere rating what you use to compute load for supply lighting with ballasts and transformers. Question 3. The tool room has highly flammable liquids. What type of raceway would you be required to use? RMC. Rigid metal conduit such as EMT for areas storing flammable liquids. The tool room has highly flammable liquids. What type of raceway would you be required to use? RMC. Rigid metal conduit such as EMT for areas storing flammable liquids. Question 4. What type of raceway would you be required to use to make for an underground? 25 foot run to a lamppost? Either RNC, rigid non-metallic conduit such as PVC, or RMC, rigid metallic conduit such as EMT for underground raceways. What type of raceway would you be required to use to make for an underground? 25 foot run to a lamppost? Either RNC, rigid non-metallic conduit such as PVC, or RMC, rigid metallic conduit such as EMT for underground raceways. Question 5. Electric discharge luminaries. Lighting fixtures, having a flange surface inlet can be supplied by cord pendants equipped with cord connectors. Inlets and connectors can be lower ampere rating than the branch circuit but not less than 125% of the luminaire load current. Electric discharge luminaries. Lighting fixtures, having a flange surface inlet can be supplied by cord pendants equipped with cord connectors. Inlets and connectors can be lower ampere rating than the branch circuit but not less than 125% of the luminaire load current. Question 6. Electric discharge luminaries provided with mobile based screw shell lamp holders can be connected to branch circuits of 50 amperes or less with cords that comply with electrical code. Electric discharge luminaries provided with mobile based screw shell lamp holders can be connected to branch circuits of 50 amperes or less with cords that comply with electrical code. Question 7. The ampacity of arc welder conductors supplying a ground of welders shall be based on individual currents. The sum of 100% of the two largest welders, plus 85% of the third largest welder, plus 70% of the fourth largest, plus 60% of any other welder. The ampacity of arc welder conductors supplying a ground of welders shall be based on individual currents. The sum of 100% of the two largest welders, plus 85% of the third largest welder, plus 70% of the fourth largest, plus 60% of any other welder. Question 8. Conductors supplying one or more arc welders must have an overcurrent protective device rated or set not more than 200% of the conductor ampacity. Conductors supplying one or more arc welders must have an overcurrent protective device rated or set not more than 200% of the conductor ampacity. Question 9. Using the drawing, how high are the two outdoor floodlights on the side of the building? 14 feet. Using the drawing, how high are the two outdoor floodlights on the side of the building? 14 feet. Question 10. Use the following paragraph for the next five questions. This applies to each continuous duty motor rated for more than one horsepower that is protected against overcurrent, overload, by a separate overcurrent device which is responsive to motor current. This device shall be rated or selected to trip no more than the following percent of the motor full load current rating. Motors with a marked service factor not less than 1.15. 125%. 
motors marked with a temperature rise not over 40 degrees Celsius. 125% Sealed, hermetic type, motor compressors for overload relays. 140% Sealed, hermetic type, motor compressors for other devices. 125% All other motors. 115% Repeat. This applies to each continuous duty motor rated for more than one horsepower that is protected against overcurrent, overload, by a separate overcurrent device which is responsive to motor current. This device shall be rated or selected to trip no more than the following percent of the motor full load current rating. Motors with a marked service factor not less than 1.15. 125%. Motors marked with a temperature rise not over 40 degrees Celsius. 125% Sealed, hermetic type, motor compressors for overload relays 140% Sealed, hermetic type, motor compressors for other devices 125% All other motors 115% Question 11 In a patient's room at a healthcare facility You are required, for hospital grade receptacles for equipment life safety branch and critical branch area in a patient's room at a healthcare facility you are required for hospital grade receptacles for equipment life safety branch and critical branch area question 12 the maximum operating temperature allowed for number 12 thw conductor is 75 degrees celsius or 167F is the maximum operating temp allowed for number 12 THW. The maximum operating temperature allowed for number 12 THW conductor is 75 degrees Celsius, or 167F is the maximum operating temp allowed for number 12 THW. Question 13. True or false? If a metal box, metal cabinet, or non-current carrying metal box are connected to a grounded raceway metallically, then these are all considered to be grounded. True. True or false. If a metal box, metal cabinet, or non-current carrying metal box are connected to a grounded raceway metallically, then these are all considered to be grounded. True. Question 14. The minimum size for grounding electrode conductor for the service entrance is. Number 8 is the minimum size grounding electrode for a service entrance. The minimum size for grounding electrode conductor for the service entrance is. Number 8, is the minimum size grounding electrode for a service entrance. Question 15. In a three-phase, four-wire, 230-volt system connected to a 115VAC, 8KW system, an appliance, with number 14 cord, the cord has three conductors in a three-phase, four-wire, 230-volt system connected to a 115VAC, 8KW system, an appliance, with number 14 cord, the cord has three conductors. Question 16. What is the maximum number 10 THW conductors allowed in a 1-inch conduit? 18 number 10 THW max in a 1-inch conduit, what is the maximum number 10 THW conductors allowed in a 1 inch conduit? 18 number 10 THW max in a 1 inch conduit. Question 17. The project specifications on a lamp indicated as 40W, T20, RS, CW, which is fluorescent lamp, 40 watt, bi pin, rapid start, cool white, 40 watt, T20 bi pin, RS. Rapid Start, CW Cool White The project specifications on a lamp indicated as 40W, T20, RS, CW Which is Fluorescent Lamp, 40 Watt, Bi Pin, Rapid Start, Cool White 40 Watt T20 Bi Pin, RS Rapid Start, CW Cool White Question 18 Electrical code requires that the distance between supports for knob and tube installations shall not exceed four and a half feet is the max distance between supports for knob and tube installations. 
Electrical code requires that the distance between supports for knob and tube installations shall not exceed 4.5 feet is the max distance between supports for knob and tube installations. Question 19. The total rating of fixed appliances on a 20 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 20 amps, fixed appliance rated for the amperage of the circuit, hardwired. The total rating of fixed appliances on a 20 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 20 amps, fixed appliance rated for the amperage of the circuit, hardwired. Question 20. The rating of one portable appliance used on a 30 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 24 amps, correction factor for portable appliances. The rating of one portable appliance used on a 30 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 24 amps, correction factor for portable appliances. Question 20. The rating of one portable appliance used on a 30 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 24 amps, correction factor for portable appliances. The rating of one portable appliance used on a 30 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 24 amps, correction factor for portable appliances. Question 21. Number 12 wire, conductor, using 120, 240 volts is rated at 20 amps. What would it be rated if you used 480 volts? 20 amps, can be rated the same amperage with difference in voltage. Number 12 wire, conductor, using 120, 240 volts is rated at 20 amps. What would it be rated if you used 480 volts? 20 amps, can be rated the same amperage with difference in voltage. Question 22. True or false? It is permissible to place fluorescent lighting on a 30 amp branch circuit. False. It is permissible to place fluorescent lighting on a 30 amp branch circuit. False. Question 23. What is the minimum size AWG service that can enter a house? 8 AWG is the minimum size service that can enter a home. What is the minimum size AWG service that can enter a house? 8 AWG is the minimum size service that can enter a home. Question 24. A fixed load on a number 12 wire will carry 20 amps. Fixed load on number 12 wire will carry 20 amps. A fixed load on a number 12 wire will carry 20 amps. Fixed load on number 12 wire will carry 20 amps. Question 25. The largest standard cartridge fuse is rated at 6000 amps is the largest standard cartridge fuse. The largest standard cartridge fuse is rated at 6000 amps is the largest standard cartridge fuse. Question 26. In the electrical code, the maximum number of number 14 rubber wires permitted in A. 4 inch by 1 and a half inch octagonal outlet box is 7 wires of number 14 rubber wire in a 4 by 1 by half octagonal box max permitted in the electrical code the maximum number of number 14 rubber wires permitted in a 4 inch by 1 and a half inch octagonal outlet box is 7 wires of number 14 rubber wire in a 4 by 1 by half octagonal box max permitted question 27 if you have a fixture stud and a cable clamp in a 4 inch by 1 and a half inch octagonal outlet box, you may have only 5 wires in a 4 by 1 by half inch octagonal box with fixture stud and cable clamp. If you have a fixture stud and a cable clamp in a 4 inch by 1 and a half inch octagonal outlet box, you may have only 5 wires in a 4 by 1 by half inch octagonal box with fixture stud and cable clamp. Question 28. Plug type fuses are never permitted in circuits which exceed 150 volts to the ground. Plug type fuses are never permitted with more than 150 volts to ground. Plug type fuses are never permitted in circuits which exceed 150 volts to the ground. Plug type fuses are never permitted with more than 150 volts to ground. Question 29. True or false? The amperage of a circuit is in direct proportion to the resistance as long as all of the conductors remain the same. False. The amperage of a circuit is in direct proportion to the resistance as long as all of the conductors remain the same. False. Question 30. True or false. 
If you doubled the circular mills on a wire resistor, it would decrease the resistance and increase the current. True. More flow like bigger pipe. If you doubled the circular mills on a wire resistor, it would decrease the resistance and increase the current. True. More flow like bigger pipe. Question 31. If the power in a circuit remains constant and the voltage in a circuit doubles, the current is reduced. If the power in a circuit remains constant and the voltage in a circuit doubles, the current is reduced. Question 32. How many conductors can be put into conduit using three or more conductors? 40% of the cross section of the conduit for three or more conductors. How many conductors can be put into conduit using three or more conductors? 40% of the cross section of the conduit for three or more conductors. Question 33. When using two lock nuts on a sub panel installation, what is required by code for the ground? Bonding lock nuts are required for the ground on a sub panel install. When using two lock nuts on a sub panel installation, what is required by code for the ground? Bonding lock nuts are required for the ground on a sub panel install. Question 34. If you had marked out on a set of plans the following, locate 4. 4 foot long, 6 inch wide fluorescent light fixtures symmetrically laid out. Parallel to the major axis of A, 16 foot by 20 foot room, the closest fixture would be 5 feet from 20 foot wall, and 4 feet from the 16 foot wall. See diagram. If you had marked out on a set of plans the following, locate 4. 4 foot long, 6 inch wide fluorescent light fixtures symmetrically laid out. Parallel to the major axis of A, 16 foot by 20 foot room, the closest fixture would be 5 feet from 20 foot wall, and 4 feet from the 16 foot wall. See diagram. Question 35. What size rigid metal conduit is required for three number 3 aught conductors at 200 amps? 2 inch rigid metal conduit is required for three number 3 aught conductors at 200 amps. What size rigid metal conduit is required for three number 3 aught conductors at 200 amps? 2 inch rigid metal conduit is required for three number 3 aught conductors at 200 amps. Question 36. For a small appliance load in a dwelling residence, the code requires two 20 amp circuits to provide for this small appliance load. The feeder amount is to be 3000 watts for two 20 amp small appliance circuits. For a small appliance load in a dwelling residence, the code requires two 20 amp circuits to provide for this small appliance load. The feeder amount is to be 3000 watts for two 20 amp small appliance circuits. Question 37. The rating of a portable appliance that is used on a 20 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 16 amps. Correction factor for portable appliance. The rating of a portable appliance that is used on a 20 amp branch circuit shall not exceed 16 amps. Correction factor for portable appliance. Question 38. The minimum size conductor that is required for an 8 and 3 quarter kW range is number 8 is the minimum size conductor for an 8 and 3 quarter kW range. The minimum size conductor that is required for an 8 and 3 quarter kW range is number 8 is the minimum size conductor for an 8 and 3 quarter kW range. Question 39. True or false? EMT conduit stands for electrical metallic tubing and is a rigid tubing. True. EMT conduit stands for electrical metallic tubing and is a rigid tubing. True. Question 40. The service entrance rating of a single family dwelling with an additional load of 10 kW using a three wire service shall not be less than 100 amps SFD with additional 10 kW using three wire shall not be less than 100 amps. The service entrance rating of a single family dwelling with an additional load of 10 kW using a three wire service shall not be less than 100 amps sfd with additional 10 kw using three wire shall not be less than 100 amps question 41 the minimum size copper service entrance conductor to be used on a residential dwelling shall be number eight copper service entrance min size on residential dwelling is number eight 
The minimum size copper service entrance conductor to be used on a residential dwelling shall be. Number 8. Copper service entrance min size on residential dwelling is number 8. Question 42. An Erickson coupling used in the electrical field is a coupling used to join two lengths of rigid conduit. Erickson coupling joins two lengths of rigid conduit. An Erickson coupling used in the electrical field is a coupling used to join two lengths of rigid conduit. Erickson coupling joins two lengths of rigid conduit. Question 43. 1 kilowatt equals 1000 watts. 1 kilowatt equals 1000 watts. Question 44. True or false? 1 watt is 1, 746 of 1 horsepower. True. 1 watt is 1, 746 of 1 horsepower. True. Question 45. How many 90 degree bends are allowed in one run, using EMT or rigid metallic conduit? 4 bends of 90 degrees max, then add junction, or pull box. How many 90 degree bends are allowed in one run, using EMT or rigid metallic conduit? 4 bends of 90 degrees max, then add junction, or pull box. Question 46. A room that is 20 feet wide has 4 rows of lights evenly spaced on center. How far from the wall is the center of the first row of light? 2 and a half feet. A room that is 20 feet wide has 4 rows of lights evenly spaced on center. How far from the wall is the center of the first row of light? 2 and a half feet. Question 47. What is the maximum recommended temperature in which to use plastic, non-metallic? PVC, electric wire conduit, 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit max temp for plastic non-metallic, PVC electric conduit is 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the maximum recommended temperature in which to use plastic, non-metallic? PVC, electric wire conduit, 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit max temp for plastic non-metallic, PVC electric conduit is 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Question 48. Using a number 8 feeder conductor supplying air conditioning equipment, the circuit shall be loaded to a max of 32 amps. Number 8 feeder for air conditioning circuit loaded at 32 amps max. Using a number 8 feeder conductor supplying air conditioning equipment, the circuit shall be loaded to a max of 32 amps. Number 8 feeder for air conditioning circuit loaded at 32 amps max. Question 49. The demand for a 16 kW electric range should be assessed at 9600 watts. 16 kW electric range has a demand of 9600 watts. The demand for a 16 kW electric range should be assessed at 9600 watts. 16 kW electric range has a demand of 9600 watts. Question 50. What are the minimum size electric wires used in house wiring? Number 14. Min size wires used in house are number 14. What are the minimum size electric wires used in house wiring? Number 14. Min size wires used in house are number 14. Question 51. All electrical switch which turns on several rows of fluorescent lights must be rated so that the load does not exceed the ampere rating of the switch. A switch which controls rows of fluorescent lights must not exceed the ampere rating of the switch. All electrical switch which turns on several rows of fluorescent lights must be rated so that the load does not exceed the ampere rating of the switch. A switch which controls rows of fluorescent lights must not exceed the ampere rating of the switch. Question 52. The main electrical service which on a building should be rated for not less than the total load to be carried. Main service must be rated for the total load carried by the building. The main electrical service which on a building should be rated for not less than the total load to be carried. Main service must be rated for the total load carried by the building. Question 53. How many wires are needed for the operation of two motor control stop-start stations? Three wires on each circuit. Two motor control stop-start stations require three wires on each circuit. 
How many wires are needed for the operation of two motor control stop start stations? Three wires on each circuit. Two motor control stop start stations require three wires on each circuit. Question 54. A single phase motor draws 32 amperes under full load condition. How large must the fuse be rated? 300% of the full load current. Single phase motor draws 32 amps at full load, fuse must be 300% of full load current. A single phase motor draws 32 amperes under full load condition. How large must the fuse be rated? 300% of the full load current. Single phase motor draws 32 amps at full load, fuse must be 300% of full load current. Question 55. True or false? To change the speed of a synchronous motor it would need to be necessary to vary the field voltage. False. To change the speed of a synchronous motor it would need to be necessary to vary the field voltage. False. Question 56. The spacing between heating cables embedded in plaster ceilings, not exceeding 2, 3 quarter per foot of cable, shall not be less than 1 and a half inch. The spacing between heating cables embedded in plaster ceilings, not exceeding 2, 3 quarter per foot of cable, shall not be less than 1 and a half inch. Question 57. Wiring located above heated ceiling shall be spaced not less than 2 inches. Wiring located above heated ceiling shall be spaced not less than 2 inches. Wiring located above heated ceiling shall be spaced not less than 2 inches. Wiring located above heated ceiling shall be spaced not less than 2 inches. Question 58. According to the electrical code, heating cables should be separated from lighting fixtures and their trim at least 2 inches. Heat cables should be 2 inches from light fixtures. According to the electrical code, heating cables should be separated from lighting fixtures and their trim at least 2 inches. Heat cables should be 2 inches from light fixtures. Question 59. A recessed lighting fixture in a ceiling near a ceiling heating unit should be, not recessed at all. No recessed lighting fixture in a ceiling near a heating unit. A recessed lighting fixture in a ceiling near a ceiling heating unit should be, not recessed at all. No recessed lighting fixture in a ceiling near a heating unit. Question 60. A portable electric appliance would be best grounded by a green wire in the cable or cord. Portable electric appliance best grounded by green wire in cable or cord. A portable electric appliance would be best grounded by a green wire in the cable or cord. Portable electric appliance best grounded by green wire in cable or cord. Question 61. In lighting, how many watts per square foot of area is recommended for a dwelling? 3 watts per square foot. Lighting recommended is 3 watts per square foot in a dwelling. In lighting, how many watts per square foot of area is recommended for a dwelling? 3 watts per square foot. Lighting recommended is 3 watts per square foot in a dwelling. Question 62. What are the minimum small appliance circuit receptacle requirements in dwelling occupancies for kitchen, family room, laundry, pantry, dining room and breakfast room? 2. 20 amp circuits. Min small appliance requirements are 2. 20 amp circuits. What are the minimum small appliance circuit receptacle requirements in dwelling occupancies for kitchen, family room, laundry, pantry, dining room and breakfast room? 2. 20 amp circuits. Min small appliance requirements are 2. 20 amp circuits. Question 63. What is the best way to ground an electrical system? Underground water pipe system. Best way to ground an electrical system is the underground water pipe system. What is the best way to ground an electrical system? Underground water pipe system. Best way to ground an electrical system is the underground water pipe system. Question 64. What is the best way to join a home electrical system to the ground? Copper wire. Best way to join a home electrical system to ground is using copper wire. What is the best way to join a home electrical system to the ground? Copper wire. Best way to join a home electrical system to ground is using copper wire. 
Question 65. What is the largest size wire you may place in a 3, 8 inch flexible steel conduit? Number 10. Largest wire in a 3, 8 inch flex steel conduit is number 10. What is the largest size wire you may place in a 3, 8 inch flexible steel conduit? Number 10. Largest wire in a 3, 8 inch flex steel conduit is number 10. Question 66. Where underground service conductors are carried up a pole the mechanical protection shall be installed to a point at least 8 feet above ground. Underground service conductors carried up a pole for mechanical protection installed at least 8 feet above the ground. Where underground service conductors are carried up a pole the mechanical protection shall be installed to a point at least 8 feet above ground. Underground service conductors carried up a pole for mechanical protection installed at least 8 feet above the ground. Question 67. True or false? Voltage to ground, is in grounded circuits, the voltage between the given conductor and that point or conductor of the circuit which is grounded, in underground circuits, the greatest voltage between the given conductor and any other conductor of the circuit. True. Voltage to ground, is in grounded circuits, the voltage between the given conductor and that point or conductor of the circuit which is grounded, in underground circuits, the greatest voltage between the given conductor and any other conductor of the circuit. True. Question 68. When lights go dim and turn on and off, what is the problem? Loose wire. Lights go dim and turn off and on the problem would be a loose wire connection. When lights go dim and turn on and off, what is the problem? Loose wire. Lights go dim and turn off and on the problem would be a loose wire connection. Question 69. What is the minimum height of service drop wires over residential driveways? 12 feet. Min height service drop wires over residential driveways is 12 feet. What is the minimum height of service drop wires over residential driveways? 12 feet. Min height service drop wires over residential driveways is 12 feet. Question 70. What is the minimum height of service drop wires over driveways? other than residential such as streets, alleys and public roads? 18 feet. Min height service drop wires over non-residential driveways is 18 feet. What is the minimum height of service drop wires over driveways, other than residential such as streets, alleys and public roads? 18 feet. Min height service drop wires over non-residential driveways is 18 feet. Question 71. A circuit in a home is usually run for which of the following outlets? Two or more. Circuit in a home is usually run for two or more outlets. A circuit in a home is usually run for which of the following outlets? Two or more. Circuit in a home is usually run for two or more outlets. Question 71. What is the largest resistance of an electric heating unit that is allowed in a home? 1 million ohms. Largest resistance of electric heating in a home is 1 million ohms. What is the largest resistance of an electric heating unit that is allowed in a home? 1 million ohms. Largest resistance of electric heating in a home is 1 million ohms. Question 72. What is the largest size a panel box may be before it has to be fastened securely other than by the pipe attached to it? 100. 150 and 200 cubic inches. What is the largest size a panel box may be before it has to be fastened securely other than by the pipe attached to it? 100. 150 and 200 cubic inches. Question 73. According to the electrical code, which of the following can be done with a loose wire? You cannot have loose wires, it must be removed. Cannot have loose wires never acceptable by electric code. According to the electrical code, which of the following can be done with a loose wire? You cannot have loose wires, it must be removed. Cannot have loose wires never acceptable by electric code. Question 74. True or false? A motor controller, is any switch or device normally used to start and stop the motor? True. A motor controller, is any switch or device normally used to start and stop the motor? True. Question 75. To identify certain wire or wires on a three-phase motor that has been disconnected, you would Tag the wires 
Tag the wires on a three-phase motor before disconnecting to identify wire positions. To identify certain wire or wires on a three-phase motor that has been disconnected, you would Tag the wires Tag the wires on a three-phase motor before disconnecting to identify wire positions. Question 76 What is the maximum amount of number 10 TW conductors you can put in a 1-inch conduit according to electrical code? 15 Max number of 10 TW conductors in 1-inch conduit is 15. What is the maximum amount of number 10 TW conductors you can put in a 1-inch conduit according to electrical code? 15. Max number of 10 TW conductors in 1-inch conduit is 15. Question 76. What conduit size would be required for 5 number 10 conductors? Half inch. With 5 number 10 conductors use half inch conduit. What conduit size would be required for 5 number 10 conductors? Half inch. With 5 number 10 conductors use half inch conduit. Question 77. The thermal overload protection shall be rated at what percent of the motor full load current rating on motors marked to have a temperature rise of not more than 40 degrees Fahrenheit? Not more than 125% of the full load current. Thermal overload protection 125% to not exceed 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermal overload protection shall be rated at what percent of the motor full load current rating on motors marked to have a temperature rise of not more than 40 degrees Fahrenheit? Not more than 125% of the full load current. Thermal overload protection 125% to not exceed 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Question 78. Heating cables should not be separated from the edges of outlet boxes and junction boxes that are to be used for mounting surface lighting fixtures at least. 8 inches. Heating cables should not be separated from the edges of outlet boxes and junction boxes that are to be used for mounting surface lighting fixtures at least. 8 inches. Question 79. In the electrical code, what is the largest size wire you can draw the conduit up to 1 and 1 quarter inch in size? Number 0 wire. Largest wire in a 1 and a quarter conduit is number 0 wire. In the electrical code, what is the largest size wire you can draw the conduit up to 1 and 1 quarter inch in size? Number 0 wire. Largest wire in a 1 and a quarter conduit is number 0 wire. Question 80. What is the largest resistance ground on a grounding rod allowed? 25 ohms. Largest resistance to ground on a grounding rod is 25 ohms. What is the largest resistance ground on a grounding rod allowed? 25 ohms. Largest resistance to ground on a grounding rod is 25 ohms. Question 81. What is the minimum height of service drip wires over sidewalks? 10 feet. Min height service drop wires over sidewalk is 10 feet. What is the minimum height of service drip wires over sidewalks? 10 feet. Min height service drop wires over sidewalk is 10 feet. Question 82. If a manufactured wiring system using type MC cables runs through a suspended ceiling used as the lower side of a return air cavity, it can go into a wall to a switch. If a manufactured wiring system using type MC cables runs through a suspended ceiling used as the lower side of a return air cavity, it can go into a wall to a switch. Question 83. True or false? Wired office partitions aren't supposed to substitute for structural wiring in a building, and for that reason the electrical code usually won't allow them to extend all the way from the floor to structural framing member within a ceiling. True. Wired office partitions aren't supposed to substitute for structural wiring in a building, and for that reason the electrical code usually won't allow them to extend all the way from the floor to structural framing member within a ceiling. True. Question 84. Which of the following freestanding installation of freestanding wired partitions would be permitted to be connected to the building wiring system with a single flexible cord and plug? Electrical Code 605.4 Answer 4 by 8 feet interconnected partitions with a cord no longer than 2 feet. Which of the following freestanding installation of freestanding wired partitions would be permitted to be connected to the building wiring system with a single flexible cord and plug? Electrical Code 605.4 Answer 4 by 8 feet interconnected partitions with a cord no longer than 2 feet. 
Question 85. Could the manual override switch in a time clock controller be the disconnecting means for electric signs? No. Could the manual override switch in a time clock controller be the disconnecting means for electric signs? No. Question 86. Which of the following GFCI protective arrangements would be acceptable for an outdoor portable sign? Factory supplied GFCI in the cord for outdoor portable signs. Which of the following GFCI protective arrangements would be acceptable for an outdoor portable sign? Factory supplied GFCI in the cord for outdoor portable signs. Question 87. Which of the following wiring methods could supply a permanent outdoor sign fed from and 5 feet away from a building? Type UF cable for Permian outdoor signs. Which of the following wiring methods could supply a permanent outdoor sign fed from and 5 feet away from a building? Type UF cable for Permian outdoor signs. Question 88. Which of the following wiring methods could be used to enclose 10 kV conductors on the secondary side of a neon transformer? The sign in question is a skeleton type sign used indoors. Both metallic and non-metallic electrical tubing for enclosed 10 kV conductors on secondary side of neon transformer. Which of the following wiring methods could be used to enclose 10 kV conductors on the secondary side of a neon transformer? The sign in question is a skeleton type sign used indoors. Both metallic and non-metallic electrical tubing for enclosed 10 kV conductors on secondary side of neon transformer. Question 89. Neon sign transformers that are installed independently of the sign must be readily accessible. Neon sign transformers that are installed independently of the sign must be readily accessible. Question 90. In a concrete encased grounding electrode what size does it have to be? Half inch for grounding electrode that is encased in concrete. In a concrete encased grounding electrode what size does it have to be? Half inch for grounding electrode that is encased in concrete. Question 91. In a concrete encased grounding electrode 20 feet long, how much concrete has to be around it between the concrete and the earth? 2 inches between the concrete and earth for 20 foot grounding electrode. In a concrete encased grounding electrode 20 feet long, how much concrete has to be around it between the concrete and the earth? 2 inches between the concrete and earth for 20 foot grounding electrode. Question 92. How much space is required over a vault in a basement situation? 6 feet. How much space is required over a vault in a basement situation? 6 feet. Question 93. In a concrete encased grounding electrode 20 feet long, what size does the wire have to be? 4 AWG bare copper for 20 foot grounding electrode encased in concrete. In a concrete encased grounding electrode 20 feet long, what size does the wire have to be? 4 AWG bare copper for 20 foot grounding electrode encased in concrete. Question 94. If you are frequently using a hazardous cleaning liquid in a garage, what kind of conduit do you use to hook up the receptacle? Rigid conduit for a receptacle near hazardous cleaning liquids. If you are frequently using a hazardous cleaning liquid in a garage, what kind of conduit do you use to hook up the receptacle? Rigid conduit for a receptacle near hazardous cleaning liquids. Question 95. What determines where you place a sub-panel? Distance from equipment determines where you place a sub-panel. What determines where you place a sub-panel? Distance from equipment determines where you place a sub-panel. Question 96. If you have to put a ground rod into rocky soil, how would you do it? Install a 1-foot plate electrode 30 inches in the ground for rocky soil installing a ground rod. If you have to put a ground rod into rocky soil, how would you do it? Install a 1-foot plate electrode 30 inches in the ground for rocky soil installing a ground rod. Question 97. If working on 12,000 volts underground service, who has jurisdiction of work? Electrical code. If working on 12,000 volts underground service, who has jurisdiction of work? Electrical code. Question 98. What is the minimum size of LFMC liquid flex? 3 8 inch max size for liquid flex. What is the minimum size of LFMC liquid flex? 
3 8 inch max size for liquid flex. Question 99. How do you seal conduit in toxic environment? Duct seal for sealing conduit in toxic areas. How do you seal conduit in toxic environment? Duct seal for sealing conduit in toxic areas. Question 100. The service outlet outside the boathouse, shore power for the boat shall be a minimum of 30 amperes, locking and grounding type receptacle. The service outlet outside the boathouse, shore power for the boat shall be a minimum of 30 amperes, locking and grounding type receptacle. Question 101. When using electric hand tools for repair work from the boathouse outlet, the outlet shall be 30 amp minimum and 50 amp maximum, locking and grounding device. When using electric hand tools for repair work from the boathouse outlet, the outlet shall be 30 amp minimum and 50 amp maximum, locking and grounding device. Question 102. A motor rated for 600 volts, nominal or less, must have a disconnecting means with a rating of at least 115% of the motor's full load current rating. Motors rated at 600 volts or less need a quick disconnect means rated at 115% of full load current. A motor rated for 600 volts, nominal or less, must have a disconnecting means with a rating of at least 115% of the motor's full load current rating. Motors rated at 600 volts or less need a quick disconnect means rated at 115% of full load current. Question 103. What is the maximum size of liquid type flex? 4 inches max size for liquid type flex. What is the maximum size of liquid type flex? 4 inches max size for liquid type flex. Question 104. When installing an electrical panel in a kitchen, the primary factor for location is a wet location. When installing an electrical panel in a kitchen, the primary factor for location is a wet location. Question 105. A switch or electrical receptacle shall be no higher than 48 inches and shall be no lower than 15 inches for AD or requirements. A switch or electrical receptacle shall be no higher than 48 inches and shall be no lower than 15 inches for AD or requirements. Question 106. It looks something like On front loading laundry the minimum height from the floor to the bottom of the door is 15 inches from floor to bottom of the door for front loading laundry. On front loading laundry the minimum height from the floor to the bottom of the door is 15 inches from floor to bottom of the door for front loading laundry. Question 107. Which of the four figures below is symbolic of a volume controlled telephone? The phone with noise lines. Which of the four figures below is symbolic of a volume controlled telephone? The phone with noise lines. Question 108. The size of control buttons on an elevator shall be no smaller than 3 quarter inch min size for control buttons on elevators. The size of control buttons on an elevator shall be no smaller than 3 quarter inch min size for control buttons on elevators. Question 109. The maximum height of the elevator controls shall be 48 inches. The maximum height of the elevator controls shall be 48 inches. Question 110. The derating factor of running four, six conductors in a raceway is 80%. The derating factor of running four, six conductors in a raceway is 80%. Question 111. The derating factor of running seven, nine conductors in a raceway is 70%. The derating factor of running seven, nine conductors in a raceway is 70%. End of practice test 1. It looks something like this.